didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Kelly has been on the top of the charts for all the claims you can think of. Allegations of sexual abuse, child sexual exploitation, child pornography production, sex trafficking, kidnapping, forced labor, racketeering, and obstruction of justice for the past two decades. Uh, Kelly, what do you want to say to your fans? Accusations and rumors have swirled for decades. Now, R. Kelly is formally facing sexual abuse charges. Are you innocent? Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County grand jury on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four victims. Aggravated criminal sexual abuse is a class two felony with a sentencing range of three to seven years per count. Lawyer Michael Avenatti, who is representing two Kelly accusers, says the charges stem from a tape he gave to prosecutors. This tape leaves no question as to whether R. Kelly is guilty of multiple sexual illegal acts against a 14-year-old girl. Today marks a watershed moment in the 25 years of abuse by this predator known as R. Kelly. The charges come in a rising tide of allegations against the singer. On Thursday, two more women came forward with their account of what happened after an R. Kelly concert they attended as teenagers in the mid-1990s. High-profile women's rights lawyer Gloria Allred is representing them. To R. Kelly, I'm sending this message. You have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. The raid on Sean Combs' house has led everyone to start comparing him to R. Kelly's case. After all, Kelly's units were also raided by the police and confiscated. Several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. Yeah, when you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this, in a neighborhood like this as well, this is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly... Three states working in tandem and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fair informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. That's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. Diddy has not been arrested or accused of any crimes by the authorities. However, his lawyer referred to the federal raids as a witch hunt in a statement. Hey, Diddy, thanks for agreeing to do this interview. I know it's a really tough time for you right now, but we really appreciate your time. Let's do it. You know, Puff, P. Diddy, how do you want me to refer to you? You can call me Love. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, all the allegations. Are you attracted to men or women? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Is it true that you've had sexual relations with Meek Mill? I can't tell you that. My entrepreneurs, all my hustlers, do not think that you're the only one that's having a hard time, okay? I'm having a hard time at my level. There's always different levels to it, and there's different levels to the hard time. But we all having a hard time achieving what we want to achieve. People in our raid, bureaucracy, red tape, this, da, da, da. Hit that, fuck that button. Get to it. Kelly even maintained contact with the outside world where we hear him singing on calls and making jokes. People have been going hard on the memes and the jokes of how Or Kelly and Diddy will fi finally reunite in prison. In here tonight with an interview many have been waiting for R. Kelly's first since being charged with abuse last month. 
When you say that you need help, do you think you need to go to therapy? What I need that, help. What kind of help? I need somebody to help me beat my meat. Robert. I'm a man. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone? Never. No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that because you have daughters. You're telling me, man! Robert, you sit down. Okay, just like that. Why are you sitting down? I'm just tired. Robert. 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 Oh, my God. Listen, why would these women say the same thing about you? That you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep. And they don't know each other. Here's the deal. I flew in on a helicopter with a damn puppy whom I was in love with. Yes. And the puppy was assassinated on a helicopter. You sound like you're playing the victim here. A helicopter. Robert. I'm telling y'all. That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the big fart. <laughs> OK. That's your explanation. Absolutely. OK. Women have come forward mm -hmm. and said, R. Kelly had sex with me. Well, I wish that was you. Robert. I'm just being honest. Have you done anything wrong? Absolutely. I had two little girls trapped in the basement. Okay. okay fair enough. But I will tell you this. They are buried alive. And surprisingly enough, social media shared shock and outrage at Cassie's audacity to actually sue Puffy. New surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs wearing only a towel, assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says, as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say, he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can then be seen throwing an object in her direction. What did you know back then, three, that four Cassie years was ago? was gonna come forward. So what, what did you, how'd you know, what did you know about what Cat? Because to, to hear I the- I could explain. Yeah, but- um, But if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. I don't spend time around Cassie, and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Brian Leslie. Was there something in her eyes that you saw the way, like, now I'm that- I'm gonna put it to you this way. There are mutual acquaintances between her and I, mm. and that's as far as I can go. Okay. Diddy's former employees and associates have reported seeing or experiencing disturbing stories of him. On May 21st, model Crystal McKinney filed her lawsuit against Sean Combs Bad Boy Entertainment Holdings, Sean John Clothing LLC, and Universal Music Entertainment Group. The complaint explains that when she was 17 years old back in 1998, McKinney won MTV's first model mission competition. She was given a modeling contract and her career started to take off with her appearing in all sorts of major magazines. And then in 2003, when she was 22 years old, McKinney says she was invited to attend a men's fashion week event being held in New York. Now, the person who invited McKinney is only referred to in the filing as the designer. But according to McKinney, quote, the designer told plaintiff that he would be introducing her to Combs, which could advance her modeling career. The designer began to direct plaintiff's appearance as he sought to ensure Combs found her attractive. The designer then handpicked a black leather coat with a fur hood, a translucent chiffon, beige V-cut shirt, fur-lined handbag, and jewel-encrusted jeans for plaintiff to wear to the event. Due to the traumatic events to occur later, 
Plaintiff saved the unwashed clothing from that night in her closet where they remain in a plastic wrap. R. Kelly has decided to come forward and share his thoughts on the whole sex trafficking allegations against P. Diddy. And what's crazy is, what you know, I know, you know, because we've just been in the Jersey forever, is, is once they, and I hope they don't, but if they detain him, that's when all nigga niggas motherfuckers gonna be lining up with their hand in there. So I'm saying, man, see, the bad part about him, this is what I don't understand about this, all this shit. Mother, if there was a time, right? Where this was a play, this was y'all party, this was y'all, nigga, and, and, like, if you was um, a participant, right, and you of legal age, I don't understand what all the hoopla, all of a sudden it's against the wheel, it's against the wheel. Man, what's so up, you just came back to 300 parties, motherfucker, against the wheel. Yeah, <clears> all this shit, you got to damn near get a, turn on your camera, let a motherfucker tell you who they is, put their ID up. Let a motherfucker tell you where they at because any given Sunday, right, when a motherfucker want to go bad, they can extort you or cover with the accusations. Shit, that shit is crazy, man. It's crazy. That's why I say motherfuckers, motherfuckers going to be out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what's so yeah, fucked up about it. They're so stupid. They're so stupid. They don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean, it's crazy, yeah, man. Real shit. I mean, that's why I don't believe none of the shit. I mean, no, I told me, him straight funny. up, bro. You can tell me about anybody in now. You can tell me uh, the, on the news the weather is the sky is blue. I'm not going to believe the shit, no. Because I'm in it now. I know what they think. Yeah, like, listen, I told at, when it first started with Cassie, I said, yo. Nigga, this is a stick-up move. All the about that nigga, I just came out saying, hey, listen, these are my sexual preferences. Yes, I'm bi or whatever the fuck, and these right. motherfuckers been trying to extort me, and I'm tired of it. They know that I'm in the music industry and boom, boom, boom. Nigga, they would have ate her up and, and still, but but now they using that. They using that against him. That, but now it's getting to a point to where, you know, it's getting to a point to where it's like, nigga, you, 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 you gonna have to say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he, not, but he, 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 ain't, he ain't fleeced though. As long as, you know. Nah, he ain't. Nah, nah, no, no, he ain't. They, they didn't raid it. You know, they ran up in his crib, but you know. Yeah, I saw that. Crib, this is how you know it's weak. You know, usually when they run up in the house, they coming to get you too. Yeah. They look at, they still searching and looking. Like, that nigga ain't on the run or nothing. They ain't telling him to come turn himself in or no shit like that. They grounded his plane because they seen him moving. He wasn't even on the plane. They wanted to make sure he wasn't because they, they probably didn't restrict his passport and shit as of yet, as of now. You know, but yeah, this shit is crazy. Yeah, but that's how it all started, though, Wack. You understand? It started. No, I know. No, I know. It's it all that because they don't, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. I know, but see, it's they know fucking but... with him. He got some money, so they know they got to come right. They know if they come half stepping, he do got the money to, 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 to fight. So they ain't finna. They ain't go. Well, I do know this. If they do put him in cuffs, they only put him on cut and cuff because they got a definite. They got something at that point. So, yeah, so. That, ain't, that, ain't necessary. that ain't even necessarily true right there. Well, they, well, they, they feel like they got this enough. Call is from they, the they got prison. enough. They want they, you if they want a plan to get you or if it's a conspiracy, yeah. anything. They put you in cuffs, bro. <laughs> no, that's real. And I've been telling people, I've been preaching. I said, yo, one thing already taught me what I didn't know. Is we going off this state shit, nigga? The law of the land when it comes to the feds is 18 across the board. You niggas in Jersey, which is 16, Nevada and Atlanta, that's the state. But if the feds want to come in and pick it up, ain't yep. nothing the state could do to help you or save you. You can't say what the state. Yep, the law of the land federally is 18. I said I didn't even know that until you know I thought you know whatever the state said that's what it was. She is, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy. I don't know why the federal law don't force state law to be 18 across the board. Nadia Shihara, the judge who sentenced R. Kelly to three decades of prison time, also has something to say about Diddy. Well, I think it's a significant development in the case. Obviously, he's presumed innocent. No charges have been filed against him. But when you take a step like executing search warrants so publicly at two different locations. It means you've ha you have amassed significant evidence. You've got probable cause to believe a crime has been committed, which is the same standard for arrest. 
Uh, so it's significant. Now, obviously, as a federal prosecutor, you want to make sure you have proof beyond a reasonable doubt when you when you charge a case. So they're continuing to investigate, but it's certainly a significant step. Former CEO of Death Row Records, Shug Knight, who's also facing about three decades of prison, also comes forward with a statement about Puff Diddy. Everybody's been talking about the Puffy situation. First, I'd like to pray for his family, his daughters and his sons, you know, his kids, basically. That's never a good sign for nobody to cheer about when it comes to kids or young men being handcuffed. It's a bad day for hip-hop, for the culture, for black people. Because when one look bad, we all look bad. Because that's, that's definitely not nothing to cheer about. But I tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participate in? Back to Diddy's case, it's easy to dismiss a case of one woman coming forward with her allegations. But once it's done of allegations, you, you can't pay all of them off, Diddy. Not this time, or more likely, not with this big of a snowball effect. And especially after this raid, eyebrows are being raised towards Diddy even if he still deny 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 all the way will this cause other industry insiders to come forward with more disclosures what do you guys think drop it down in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to keep up with the latest hollywood tea i will see you guys in the next video while we unravel more of diddy's crazy stories until then bye bye